Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Japan, 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 you shot yourself in the foot as well, as Europe did for the same master. I feel sorry for you, but what can I say? You got to break the shackles on your own. Otherwise, you're going to be like this. Now, what happened? It happened uh, that uh, your friends with... Uh, someone from five settlements away, but you have a problem with your neighbors. Instead of being friends with your neighbors, you're friends with someone that you don't even know, barely know. But I understand Japan is under the occupation still, has American troops and uh, other stuff, and asks for more. This is like a uh, masochistic uh, trend, you know. But anyway, Japan used to have pride used to have honor when the samurais were around, where the daimyos were around. You know, uh, anyway, let's move on to this article here. So, we have an article from Russia today, and uh, it's from February 10th, 2023. Russia comments on prospects of peace treaty with Japan. You know what that is, right? The issue of ending a decades-old war dispute with Japan is, and I'm calling closed for Moscow, the Russian foreign ministry said. I mean, what did you expect? What do you expect? Japan, what did you expect? Uh, I don't have to say it again, but I will just say it shortly. I like Japan. I love their culture. I love their uh, arts. I love the people. I love their language. I love almost everything but the politicians. Uh, about Japan. And look what happens here. Like any other country has its bad uh, past, like any other country but China. I've, I've been informed that China never did anything wrong to anybody. So I said, okay. Anyway, so let's move on here. We got uh, Japan, and Japan obviously placed sanctions uh, uh, on um, Russia because Russia had a scuffle with another neighbor. And uh, this neighbor said, you know, I'm going to do this because uh, why should I just jump on the frenzy of frenzy of uh, shooting uh, our feet at the order of someone else? So then if you remember Japan and then Russia, they do not have a peace treaty since 1945, not even 1945, 1945 ended, ended the war. But since then, or however you want to take it, they don't have a peace treaty. And if you remember, I hope you do, it was Japan who uh, uh, did something to uh, Soviet Union, if you want to say that way, then uh, not the Soviet Union. The Soviet Union just said, okay, now we're going to go and get you. And at the end of the war, they got the Kuril Islands, the Northern Territories, uh, and then uh, the war stopped because the Americans forced the Japanese to sign with them the peace treaty, not with the Russians. Anyway. Two atomic bombs, I think, are very convincing <laughs> who you're going to talk to, right? Uh, that's more about that. Japan sent envoys to uh, Moscow to try to uh, discuss with the Soviets the uh, surrender. But then uh, this guy said, no, 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 over here. But if you don't believe me, you're just a few clicks away if you don't uh, find the books. Any plans to strike a peace treaty with Japan are off the table for Moscow, a Russian foreign minister spokesperson has said, citing Tio Tokyo, Kyo Tokyo's hostility towards Russia. And I'm quoting, as for the subject of peace treaty, as you know, it has been closed for us. End quote. Maria Zakharova said during a regular meeting, media briefing on Friday, the spokeswoman noted that the foreign ministry clearly articulated its position on the issue last March, stating that the unfriendly, quote-unquote, stance, stance of Japan makes any further negotiations impossible. The remarks came shortly after Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida vowed to prioritize reopening talks with Moscow on the peace treaty. No, you didn't prioritize that. You prioritized the orders to slap sanctions on those guys and resolving the territorial dispute over the South Kuril Islands referred to by Tokyo as the Northern Territories. You know how this is? This is, uh, and I make this analogy uh, many times, 
It's like someone comes to your uh, porch, uh, takes a doo-doo in front of your entrance door. After he finishes pooping, he rings the bell or knocks on the door. You open the door and he says, Hey, Gigi, how are you doing? Can you, do you have some toilet paper here? Now, this is how I see this thing. So, you do this to those guys. Those being you insert yourself in something that you had nothing to do with, but you insert yourself, you slap sanctions, you talk tough, you, you try to uh, uh, woo and lure other countries into the, you know, if you remember Kishida, Nishida, whatever, went uh, in a little trip in I think March, April, something like this last year, remember, including India, I think he went. And I, um, Korea, not Korea, um, I think he went to Vietnam too, a few countries, and then he ended up and saw the Pope or something in Europe. <laughs> anyway, I, I might mix them, but I know he did that. He promised uh, 50 billion dollar investments, I think, in India if they uh, <clears throat> leave uh, Russia alone and so on. That you know, so then they do all this, the, uh, and then the Russians should be like, oh, okay, you want to talk about the the peace treaty? Here it is, smack, and they were. <laughs> I'm going to prioritize the peace treaty and the Kuril Islands. Pfft, go ahead. <laughs> so this is, this is how these guys are, are, are thinking that they're dealing with Russia. What kind, of, what kind of vision or view do you think these politicians, the Japanese politicians, must have of Russia to think that after they do or they did what they did, they will sit down with, uh, with Lavrov and uh, speak, hey, you know what, let's discuss, like, friends, man, yeah, or a little bit of a bow. I mean, what must Kishida think about these guys? Is he thinking he's going to say he's going to get his bag of uh, red uh, colored glasses, little marble, put him three, three marbles for you, here is a mirror, huh, good, yes, let's do it. Is that how he thinks? I think so. I think he really thinks that the Russians are baboons or something. Well, anyway, it's just, it's insulting at every corner. And I'm talking about as a, not a Russian or anything, but how would you like to be treated? Put yourself in that. The fact that, and I'm quoting, the fact that 77 years after the end of the war, the issue of the Northern Territories has not been resolved and there is no peace treaty between Japan and Russia is extremely regr regrettable. The Japanese government is committed to resolving the territorial issues and concluding a peace treaty. End quote. Kishida said on Tuesday during a ceremony to commemorate the day of the, and I'm quoting, Northern Territories. End quote. During the event, Japan referred to the four southern islands of the Kuril chain as, I'm quoting, illegally occupied, end quote, by Moscow for the first time in five years. And I'm quoting, it is completely unacceptable that the Northern Territories have yet had have yet to be returned since the Soviet Union's illegal occupation of them 77 years ago, end quote. End quote. A joint statement adopted by the government and civil blah, blah, blah. Well, if, if that's illegal, why, okay, why, 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 why do you think the Russians keep them? What if the Russians say, we keep them because of the Second World War, we're still at war with you, and we're very concerned that you might attack us again? Uh, you might think, when? Well, look at Tsushima in, in uh, 1904, for instance, uh, the Russo-Japanese War, 1904-1905. Remember the Tsushima sudden attack? That was the first sudden attack like that, uh, and then they tried to copy it in uh, Pearl Harbor, which worked. But then what happened? Smacked. So anyway, the Soviets got that, and now they say, no, 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 we're concerned with you. We have to keep those under our occupation. Like, for instance, the Americans, when they took over Japan, they said, no, 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 we're going to stay here. We didn't take only four islands of the southern archipelago of the Kuril Islands. We took the whole country because we're still here. And by the way, we helped you write your constitution. And we sent it back, your draft, when you came with a draft, we sent it back and we said, nah, I think we should change that. And besides, none in the, I don't think it's in the Japanese constitution, the freedom of speech, you know, the, and the second amendment. And there's nothing, a freedom of the, the press. I know it's not the, the second amendment, that's for sure. I wonder why. I wonder why, if you give Japan independence, why, is no, no, why don't you copy your constitution and give it to them? 
they used to have swords all the time. So uh, you can't say that they were not armed and they were idiots and did not know how to do, ah, you know, use it on themselves. Anyway, you know exactly why. So don't tell me uh, I'm not under occupation. They occupied the whole country and those guys occupied your four islands. None of this is uh, okay. I understand that. But is this the way you want to deal with it? <laughs> is this your way of negotiating? Uh, that's not going to get you anywhere. Unless, unless... Russia collapses under the West attacks and uh, uh, you know all that in Ukraine, and then you will. That's how you. That's what you hope that the new government installed by these weasels is gonna give you that. That's the only chance you got because if you got another Putin or Medvedev or Lavrov, it ain't gonna happen, and you know it. So that's why you grab now tight by this guy's uh, cock. So you stay over there and say, come, please do it, do it, do it. So those guys collapse and then we grab it back. But you still have the entire of my country. Are you going to do the same thing with what? I'm going to use China by the mm, to get uh, United States so you get them out of your country? Jesus Christ. It's just, uh, you know, let's see if in anything else in this article. So Russia and Japan have technically remained at war with each other for almost eight decades after failing to reach a post-World War II settlements. Tokyo disputes Russian sovereignty over the four, over four of the islands of the Kuril Archipelago, which the Soviet Union captured during the war. Last, I don't know, three weeks, four weeks, something like, something like that. In the San Francisco Treaty of 1951, Japan relinquished its claims to the Kurils, but later claimed the, and I'm quoting, Northern Territories were never a part of the archipelago. Okay. Following the collapse of Soviet Union, Moscow offered some compromises. Well, I'm not going to do this because obviously here is where they, the Russia today tries to uh, tell us that oh, we were good and you were bad, which I don't, I'm not going to get in this video about that one. Um, I have my personal uh, assessment of all that. And without weasels from outside, you, can, you will never, never, never negotiate in good faith, Japan. The same as... Uh, let's say uh, Germany negotiated with uh, Nazi Germany, negotiated with Poland before uh, September 1st, 1939. Because you had behind you who? Great Britain and France. And they said, well, don't worry. We're, if Germans do something, so that was kind of like uh, murky too, right? So once you are having a really independent foreign policy and you are your own country, then you come and talk to Russia. And uh, unfortunately, instead of saying what you were supposed to say, you just jump in the sack with this, in the sack with these guys, and eh, 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 after they, they, eh, 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 you, you, you're not, uh, you're at the receiving end, if you want me to put it that way. Uh, and you, uh, instead of saying, "Hey, wait a minute, what's going on here?" Well, anyway, you choose your own uh, fate, I guess. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just. I feel sorry for Japan.